Hi, my name is Ryan Languish, and this is Ludo Lodge, a channel focusing on creating content to help you grow as a game designer. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the book, Board Game Design Advice from the Best in the World, second edition by Gabe Barrett. And hopefully giving you a good idea of whether or not this may be a book that you might enjoy. You may recognize Gabe Barrett's name from the Board Game Design Lab podcast, which he founded and has hosted hundreds of episodes, growing Board Game Design Lab into a larger community and resource hub for board game designers. The origins of board game design advice are rooted in Gabe brainstorming how it might be possible to collect the mentorship of a large number of successful game designers and present them in book format. His approach was to assemble a list of 12 questions that he felt best represented the kind of advice that he would like to receive from experienced game designers, and then take those questions and push them out to as many game designers as possible. The result is a collection of brief interviews with over 120 different designers, at least in the second edition, where each chapter consists of a designer answering some subset of those same 12 questions. The 12 questions that he chose are really the driving force behind the content of the book, and you can learn a lot about what to expect from the questions that were picked. So here is a very abridged version of the questions that are included. What games do you recommend to new game designers? What purchase of $50 or less has helped you most as a designer? How has failure set you up for future success? How do you know when to step away from a design? How do you get into the zone to design games? What advice do you have on handling discouraging playtests? What belief, behavior, or habit has most improved your game design skills? What tips do you have for pitching a design to publishers? What advice should brand new designers follow or ignore? What do you do when you feel overwhelmed or unfocused? What do you wish you knew before you started designing? What is one of your core philosophies and how does it affect your designs? If hearing successful board game designers answer those questions sounds interesting to you, then you are definitely the target audience for this book. But how does it all come together? Let's start with what there is to like. The biggest strength of the book is the strong cast of contributors. Gabe manages, specifically in the second edition of the book, to push the total over 120 designers with many of the biggest names in modern board game design represented. While the community and content creation around modern board gaming has grown over the past couple of decades, access to advice from popular board game designers is still fairly limited, and especially this range of designers in one place. If you are someone who has immersed yourself in modern board gaming and know a lot of modern games and designers, I think you're going to enjoy this book even more as it's fun to recognize the names of these designers that you're hearing from. While I think there's a ton of information here that would be great for a new designer that has no awareness of the landscape of modern board gaming, I do think it's going to be enjoyed even more by someone who knows most of the games and designers that are being mentioned. As you might expect, asking the same 12 questions to over 120 experienced game designers is going to result in just a huge pile of useful advice. And that is definitely the case with all of the valuable game design nuggets found within this book. But it does also transition us into what is the book's biggest weakness. Asking 120 experienced designers the same 12 questions leads to a lot of duplicated advice. None of the designers had any awareness of the answers provided by other designers, and a lot of the questions naturally lend themselves towards providing common industry standard advice. And as the book presents the designer's answers as is without any additional editing, it shouldn't be surprising that a lot of it ends up feeling repetitive. This is coupled with the fact that most of the answers are relatively brief, lacking the kind of depth you might get in an individual interview where follow-up questions allow the interviewer to drill deeper into the interviewee's expertise. That isn't to say that the advice is invaluable, but it is the kind of light and quickly consumable content you would expect from a blog post or social media. Which brings us to the question, is this a book that you should check out? I think it boils down to understanding the trade-off that Gabe accepted when he was putting this book together. Yes, it's going to have a lot of repetitive content and a lack of depth in the individual interviews. But as a result, you're going to get to hear from way more designers than you would otherwise. I'm not aware of anywhere else that you can hear advice from so many different game designers in one place. When I read books, I typically sit down for 30 minutes to an hour at a time. 
And that's how I read board game design advice. And I'm not sure that that's an approach that I would recommend. Treating it as a book that you're gonna just read straight through really just makes the repetition more painfully obvious and makes it really difficult to internalize and learn from a lot of the lessons along the way and apply it to your own game design practice. I could see it being much more effective to read an entry or two a day and try to jot down just little notes of your main takeaways or highlights from the different interviews. Even if you come away from the whole book with just a few key points that you can apply to your own game design processes, that's a hugely valuable outcome of reading this book. I've included a link to the book on Amazon in the description below, and honestly, the best way for you to know if you will enjoy this book is to head over there and click the Look Inside option to read the sample excerpt from the book. It will tell you exactly what to expect, and if it whets your appetite for more, then maybe it deserves a place on your shelf. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this book review, give it a thumbs up and maybe consider watching my review for Building Blocks of Tabletop Game Design. Or perhaps check out the video that YouTube is recommending for you here. Either way, subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I will see you in the next video.